It's a haunted doll I picked up off eBay probably last summer. Nice outfit. Curly hair. He does remind me a little bit of Dolly with the curly hair. Now these dolls, when I buy them, they're priced about 50 bucks, then about 30 bucks, 40 bucks on shipping. They could go way up to 100 bucks with uh, added shipping, so you gotta be careful. These, they like to add shipping quite heavy for hunted dolls. And I don't know if she has a name. I think Lily. I don't know if that's her name or not, but if I remember the name, then I'll try to write down the name on the bottom of the sand. So at least the name is there. But up in the stands, they get moved around to other dolls, so. The name and story kind of disappears, but I bought her like last summer maybe. When I go thrifting, I look for dolls as well. They don't have to be uh, dolls like her. But thrifting, I don't get the uh, story backstory. But. I would like to get a Dolly Parton doll, but they're pretty up there too, pretty close to like 100 bucks. Same with these uh, the haunted haunted dolls. A lot of the dolls like this I find in the flea market a lot cheaper, but they don't have a backstory. And if I have like an EMF meter, I could do some testing. Maybe one day I'll buy an EMF meter. I had one, but I cannot, I cannot find it. So I have to try to buy an EMF meter, but I'm not too interested in the EMF meter. I would like to do some uh, haunted items as well. She has a really nice feel for her clothes. Really nice and soft. So that's a bonus for this doll. I still have her. Right? The whole the whole time I still have her. Somebody did the hair, I guess. Bow tie. With the EMF meter, you might get the light spark up. You might not, but nice to have an EMF meter for any doll. Usually, I just go by the stories. That's how I buy them. I'm not a seller where I have like haunted gadgets and stuff like that that I could test them with. But this is another haunted doll I picked up off eBay. I still keep this one and a lot of other dolls I have. A few of them I had to throw away, but still keep a lot of them. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, I won't be buying any more off eBay because pricing is not in my budget now. So, whatever I find will be a uh, thrifted vintage doll. But this is a uh, eBay hunt doll from uh, like a year ago. I picked her up. I'll bring back old dolls that I buy while way back on the channel, so you'll see them more than once.